Hi everybody, my name is Sage. Uh, today I want to talk about an AI workflow that I made uh, that sends thank you emails to donors to um, uh, my charity. So somebody will send a, um, a donation in and in this, in this case, you, I'm going to enter their information into a chat bot and then it is going to create a draft email and put it into my email draft folder where I can edit it, review it, and then just press send and it'll go to the, uh, the donor. So this is the flow that we're going to uh, use today. So we're going to use uh, voice flow to handle the, the chat bot feature. We're going to use Zapier to handle AI and, and sending things where they need to go. And then we're going to use Gmail to catch the drafted email and then send the, the email um, to the donor. Okay, so let's just walk through this. This is the voice flow flow, I guess, what they call it. Um, and so we'll walk through it and then we'll, we'll run a test, okay? So, so the, the deal is it's a, it'll come up and say, hey, I'll write an email draft to Sage's Gmail for Houses Movement. Thank you, responses. And then it says, what's the person's name? What's their email? What did they donate? Um, what project did they donate to? And then um, because I'm going to show you, this is in uh, a tool where you can try this if you want. Uh, it says, do you want to send a copy of this draft to someone to review it? If so, what is that email address? And it'll cap catch that email. And then it's going to send it to a webhook at Zapier. Uh, and if it works, it'll say, great, let's write another one. And then it'll just start at the beginning. If it didn't work, I send this little error uh, saying, hey, it didn't work. And talk to Sage and he'll help you out. So then let's go to Zapier. And this is what the zap looks like. So I'm catching a webhook, okay? Uh, that's this right here. Basically, voice flow is sending information to Zapier using a webhook, okay? And um, you just, you create a webhook. Zapier charges for webhooks. Um, Make.com does not charge. But I'll tell you, I... Um, I just have better luck working in Zapier. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, but these are you. You know, you'll run. You'll run your your um, chat, and then you can get a uh, you know example records. I I do want you to see over here that every one of these questions became a variable. Okay. And then in voice flow, I've captured each of those variables so that when I get over here to Zapier, those variables are very clear. What the person's name is, what his email is, how much he donated, what project, if there's a draft person I'm gonna send it to and so on. So I'm gonna continue with that selected um, record. Then I'm using a, um, a component that is OpenAI. Uh, so you can connect directly into the OpenAI API through Zapier. So uh, the event is I'm uh, writing an email. Uh, there's all kinds of events, but that's the one I chose here because it just builds in email features. You can do all kinds of things with this one. Um, then it's asking the recipient name. Again, it's pulling directly from that webhook that has all of these variables in it, see? So, and then that's their name, their email. Uh, I hard-coded the from name, Sage is Houses Movement Charity. Uh, and then I'm telling AI, the OpenAI, what I wanted to do. Please write a personal and kind thank you email to this person, the variable. Use the, the, use the user's first name, not their last name. Include the donation amount and the project they donated to. Sign the email from Sage Lewis, the executive director of House of Movement Charity. Include my contact information, and I give it here. Then I can pick the tone. Um, uh, 
body type that's either HTML or text. I've had better luck just doing text. I can pick the model. Uh, GPT-40 is the latest right now, and I love it. Uh, max tokens. Um, so you do this so it doesn't uh, use a lot. You pay for tokens in your API. So if you want to save money, you can use less tokens. Uh, temperature is um, a kind of a creative, create, creative thing. Um, you can now go to two, apparently. I always, it was always one, but I'll tell you, I went close to two uh, on, on something yesterday, and it just started talking in, like, I don't know, computer talk? I don't even know. It got too creative. So I don't I find I like 0.7. You can test that. Uh, top P, this is top probability. So uh, this is this is a feature where um, you can say, hey, only use the results from AI that are pro this amount of probability correct. So um, so like if you do 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 means only the tokens comprising the top 10% uh, probability mass are considered. So... Um, you know you can play with you can play with that um it says only use one or the other so anyways i got 0.7 on both of those uh then this is you can test it and this is the email that it has created okay then here the next step is i'm sending an email out through email by zapier and i'm doing that for that uh draft thing and the reason i'm doing that is because I have this bot over at sageconversations.online. Um, Sage Conversations is this place where you can, I've got a bunch of bots that you can use. Um, you can try them without a credit card free for seven days. And then if you like it, uh, you can sign up for $49 a month. Um, there's all kinds of bots over here, but I've included this bot and we're going to run through it here at the bottom, the houses movement. Thank you. Email creator. And so at any rate, um, I've added this step in my zap so that you can put your email in here. It's going, if you use this at, 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 um, Sage conversations, it's going to put an email draft in my email inbox, uh, which is fine, but, uh, but you wouldn't get it. So I added this component that if you put your email address in, it'll send you a copy of it so that you can, can see it, okay? And then finally, uh, it goes to the final step where you create a, a draft in my email box. So sage at housesmovement.com. It's gonna just magically appear. Where is it? It's gonna magically appear in this box, okay? literally like magic <laughs> okay so that is how it is uh this is the it'll send the subject line who it's sending it to uh, who it's from so then when i get the draft i review it i can update it do it you know whatever i want and then just hit send and it will automatically go to the donor okay you feel me you feel it so let's try it okay so here it is in Sage Conversations, the House's Movement Thank You Email Creator, okay? Uh, and it just appears like this. So I'll write an email. Wait, let me, let me start a new chat real quick. Okay. Uh, I'll write an email draft to Sage's Gmail for the House's Movement Thank You response. What's the purpose, person's name? We'll say Sarah Smith, because I can't come up with any other name other than Smith today. What is their email? Sarah at smith.com. How much did they donate? I'm just going to say 40. You can put a dollar sign in there. You have to understand that this is a, a creature, an entity that understands natural language, meaning it understands what you are saying. Okay. But I have told it what, you know, when it gets this information back at Zapier, I'm like, I, I told it, I said, you know, you're going to get this information and I need you to write a thank you email. All right. I'm telling this that just with with my words. 
Okay, what project did they know donate to? I'll say the the dumpster fund. And then do you want to send a copy of this draft to someone? So I will. I'll send it to Sage at SageRock.com. You this is where if you want to see what it is and you're using the Sage Conversations, put your email in here and you'll get a copy of the draft. Otherwise, you're going to press this button and nothing is going to seem to happen. Okay. And then it says, great, let's write another one. And all it did was it just circled around back to the beginning of this flow in voice flow. Okay. So with any kind of luck, what's going to happen? All right. Let's imagine what's going to happen. It's going to create a draft email. It's going to put that in my Sage at Houseless Movement draft. And it's going to send a copy of it, that draft, to sage at sagerock.com. So imagine that instead of doing this for um, donations, you're doing this to follow up on sales calls, you know, or, or just, you know, leads. Like somebody sends a lead and you type in, hey, this person did this, this, and this. I'm going to show you how to automate that step in the next video. But this is, you know, this is a way to do it. That you type in, this is the person's name, their email, what they want, blah, blah, blah. And then it creates that draft email. And then when you get comfortable with it, you'll just, you can just said, say, send it. I don't need to see a draft. Just send it to the person. And then AI will skip the whole draft step. That's just changing your zap your zap one click different instead of making a draft just send it all right when you get comfortable with ai and you like the responses it's putting out then that saves you one more step okay so what should have happened sarah smith should have gotten a drafted email in my inbox or in my draft folder okay here we go Here's my draft. It says, thank you for your generous donation. Dear Sarah, I hope this message finds you well. I'm writing to personally thank you for your generous donation of $40 for the dump dumpster fund. Uh, your con uh, contribution will directly aid in providing essential support and services. If you have any questions uh, or we get more involved, reach out to me, Sage, at uh, houselessmovement.org. Here's my cell phone. And then I have it signed here. And then I got an email sent to my sage at sagerock.com draft email to Sarah Smith at houses movement charity. Thank you email. And here is that same email. Okay. If you are not using AI to help you write things, you are wasting time. It is a free assistant. Do you know in the fifties, you ever see those movies where some, you know, I don't know, Humphrey Bogart smoking a cigarette in a 90 degree a 30 floor office in New York City and he's got his coat and hat on and he's like Sally come in and take a, a message for me you know because he's practically got cancer already of the throat and she comes in she writes it down she types it up she sends it she goes over and he's like I don't like this I don't like that blah, blah, blah. and then she goes back and she types it up and blah, blah. it's the same thing it's the 50s all over again, except with artificial intelligence. I'm telling you, if you aren't using this, you're wasting time where your brain could be doing other more important things like hanging out, talking with humans, okay? Uh, thinking big thoughts, not crafting basic follow-up emails, okay? All right, now, if you're like, I don't like the way AI writes, that's not AI's fault. That's your fault for not telling AI how to write better. And we'll talk more about that too. But that's not AI's fault. Imagine you have a college intern who is the smartest college intern to ever grace planet Earth, has read everything, but he's still a college intern. You got to tell him your writing style, what you like, what you don't like. It does just because you're the smartest human doesn't know doesn't mean they know exactly how you want people to write and what you want to say, but it can learn it. Okay, you can do this. All right, so there you go. Uh, if you want to try that and all the bots over at uh, Sage Conversations, there's all kinds of bots.
All kinds of bots over here. Um, try it free for seven days. You can try Sonnet. You can try Claude, OpenAI. I've got a Facebook post creator based on a URL. Um, Rudolf Steiner, if you're a, a Waldorf person, I have thousands and thousands of pages. You can talk to Rudolf Steiner through his books. Uh, perplexity is here. So one of the nice things about this is some of these are paid uh, tools that I'm paying for the, the API. You can just come in here and use them for free. Well, I mean, free for seven days and then you pay me. But why not? Why not pay me? Come on. All right, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Like and subscribe.